I hope you did your exam well. Almost hundred percent strike rate, micro everything came from the notes. You are aware of that. So today we are going to discuss few recall questions. This is the first recall question, which is given by you people. I made the question and choices. A small alteration will be there. Whatever the first hand information we got, we make the questions. A child admitted with fever and rash begins behind the ears, conjunctivitis, coryza, cough and coplic spot. What may be the diagnosis? Because the new case definition criteria for measles is fever with rash. And the old one, conjunctivitis, coryza, cough and coplic spot is pathognomonic. Coplic spot is pathognomonic for measles. So it's a case of measles. Good. Based on the clinical manifestations, choose the correct description of the pathogen. So it is a viral disease, measles. So what is the basic description of measles virus? Any virus, you need to know three basic points. That's the concept. Any virus, you should know these three points. Number one, what about the nucleic acid? It is DNA virus or RNA virus. One is based on the nucleic acid. Second, based on the envelope. Is it enveloped or non-enveloped? Number three, based on the symmetry. Is it icosahedral symmetry or helical symmetry? These three you must know. And everybody knows measles is a RNA virus. It is having single standard RNA with what sense? Negative sense. Single standard RNA with negative sense. And second envelope. Please remember all the RNA viruses are enveloped except the few. We call it as non enveloped virus. Non enveloped RNA virus. You know the mnemonic. What is the mnemonic? CRAP. C for Calciviridae, Rioviridae, Astro, and Picarmo. Here be careful because if you think it's a paramyxoviridae, then your answer will be wrong because this virus belongs to paramyxoviridae. So P stands for picorno, not paramyxo. Use the mnemonic carefully. I used to tell use few mnemonics that also carefully. Don't go behind the mnemonics. Okay, right. So picornoviridae. Next is even though it is not related to the question, but when the discussion comes, we need to discuss all the. RNA viruses are icosahedral except a few helical RNA viruses. You know my mnemonic. Just recollect my mnemonic. T my best friend is rich. C stands for Corona. Viridae, M stands for Mixoviridae, Paramyxo and Orthomyxo. So it also belongs to helical symmetry. If next time or any other question comes, be careful. Uh, symmetry. Next is B for Bunya Viridae, F Philo, Ebola virus, and R is Rhabdo Viridae, Rabies virus. See here the mnemonic R stands for Rhabdo. Here the mnemonic R stands for Rio. So be careful. I used to tell in the class. Use the mnemonic very carefully. So based on this conclusion, I will say measles virus is a single standard RNA virus, negative sense, enveloped, helical symmetry. This is the basics. Any virus, you must know the three points. Definitely, you may have a question. It's a core microbiology question. 
if they ask about complex part or ssp or any other complication we think of clinically it is core microbiology be confident okay so we'll go to the answer we'll check after seeing the answer i will say it is rna virus oh my god all are rna virus so that one suppose the dna virus you can easily eliminate that choice is it enveloped or non enveloped it is enveloped so i can remove naked these two possibilities so now my probability is 50% you need to narrow like this here based on rna 100% based on the envelope 50% single stranded or double stranded yes one and only double stranded rna virus is rio viridi so it is single strand so i'll go for the answer single stranded enveloped virus is measles virus so confidently you can answer the question if you know the concept if you memorize you will not remember once you understand the concept with simple mnemonics you will get the answer hope everybody made the answer right thank you